Our episode starts with a guy named Joey at a video store complaining about horror movies that's playing on the screen there. He's completely oblivious as to why the people at the store are turned away by him, not to mention he's too busy making snarky comments about the movie to realize his cute co-worker is trying to ask him out, and instead mocks her taste in movies. When she suggests going to a concert instead of a movie, he agrees in a way that feels like he was just saying something to brush her off while continuing to complain about the lack of good horror movies. After she leaves, the power goes out in the store. As he's looking for a flashlight, someone walks in wearing a trench coat and black hat. He gets worried as the person ignores him, trying to tell him that the store is closed, but eventually she takes off the getup and he's extremely excited to find that she is a B-movie horror actress that he's a huge fan of named Mindy McCobb. She tells him that she received his fan mail and asked him if he was going to ask her to sit down. He apparently has her sign a bunch of copies of films instead of having a conversation with her. She makes it known that she no longer plays victims in movies and plays the monster parts now. She tells him if he wants to know more, he should meet her the next night. He agrees, completely forgetting his date with his co-worker he made earlier. The next day, his co-worker continues to flirt, and he, being completely oblivious, basically throws at her that he's going out with Mindy instead, completely ignoring any mention that he had agreed to go to a concert that she's already bought the tickets for. Her being dejected asks to leave early, which he lets her, telling her that he'll tell her the details of the date later. After the store closes, a creepy guy shows up who apparently is a character from another movie he likes and basically kidnaps him, taking him to Mindy in a coffin. They eventually arrive and let him out of the coffin and he realizes that he is on a movie set. He thinks he's going to watch her film a movie called Fear Mistress, but she tells him that he is going to actually be in the movie and she gets to kill him. We then see him awkwardly acting out the scene where his girlfriend is dead and he is to be attacked by Mindy as a vampire, but instead of being afraid, he embraces her. When he goes to apologize, he notices that her eyes are glowing. She invites him to go over how to act afraid, and at the makeup desk, she begins reminding him of stuff from his childhood that freaks him out. She then commends him on actually showing fear. The next time they act out the scene, he seems to legitimately be afraid. When he goes to the actress who plays his dead girlfriend, he finds that she really is dead. He tries to tell the director, who completely ignores him, then shows that his eyes are glowing just like Mindy's were. He then goes to tell Minnie that he's leaving and she snaps at him that she pulls strings to get him there and he won't disappoint her. As they begin to film the death scene, he freaks as Minnie appears to him, ready to bite him. He then runs around the studio like a drunk running into everything while seeing everyone in the film coming after him with glowing eyes. Just before he gets to the exit, Mindy appears and once again tries to bite him. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> The episode ends back at the video store with the co-worker and a customer watching the film of Joe running around. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.